Hello friends, Osiris here, and in today's video we've got a brand new build. It's going to be the fastest method for farming Herba Mystica from the 7 star terror raid event for Blastoise when it's running. So we already featured one build in the Vaporeon here on the channel. If you want to check that out, it is a very consistent build. But if you want a faster method to farm Herba Mystica, I would definitely recommend the build that we're going to feature in today's video. Before we get into the build itself, just to go over the Blastoise quickly, if you're new to this event, it will be running from March the 6th until March the 12th. Blastoise will be level 100, will have its hidden ability Rain Dish, will have the moves Hydro Pump, Flash Cannon, Aura Sphere, Iron Defense, Withdraw, Shell Smash, and Rain Dance. It will have the Yes, Mark, it can never be shiny and will be that steel terror typing. It will have a naive nature and can only be catchable once per save file. The item drops are similar to what we've seen in previous seven star terror raids. And again, this one is going to drop Herba Mystica. So every time you repeat this raid after beating it for the first time, you're going to get a 3% chance of any one of these five Herba Mystica dropping and you can get multiples dropping from each raid that you complete. Like I said, that is the Blastoise in a nutshell, running from the 6th of March until the 12th. Now to access this event in your game, come down to your Poker Portal, make sure you are connected to the internet, then come down to Mystery Gifts and then check Poker Portal News. Once you've done this, this will update all of the dens on your map and you'll have access to the 7-star Terror Raid event for Blastoise. The build that we're going to be featuring in today's video, I have to give a huge shout out and credit to Alpha Clement over on a Reddit thread and also to wood wisp who brought this to my attention this build is very good i've seen other content creators cover glade but this one specifically runs through the blastoise very very quickly so glade is the pokemon that we're going to be featuring it is level 100 make sure you do hyper train it so all those ivs are set to 31 we'll have the fighting terror type and the held item will be a shell bell. Of course, the build will be down in the description below if you want to take a closer look at after the video. The moveset that we're going to go with is going to be just three moves. That's all you're going to need for this raid is Mystical Fire, Sword Stance, and Sacred Sword. The ability is its second ability, so not the hidden ability, just its second ability, which is Sharpness. That's going to give a boost to Sacred Sword, which is the only attacking option that we have in this raid. The EV spread that we've got is going to be 252 EVs in a attack we're going to have 192 evs in special defense and then 64 evs into its speed stat that's going to mean that throughout the raid you're always going to be faster than the blastoise meaning that you're going to be able to get those mystical fires off before the blastoise can attack to lower that special attack so you're not taking as much damage allowing for a bit more of a seamless setup and of course we have an adamant nature so that is the glade in a nutshell like i say the details are down in the description below We'll jump into the raid now and I'll show you how quick this lid is at running through the Blastoise to farm those Herba Mysticas while the event is running. So when you come into the raid for the first time, as always, the Blastoise is going to have a turn zero where it sets itself up before the raid actually begins. It's going to set up a withdrawal that's going to boost its defense by one stage and then its shield is going to go up straight away at the start of the battle. But one of the things that the Glade has a huge advantage of over um, other physical attackers is the fact that it's got Sacred Sword. Now, the nice thing about Sacred Sword is it ignores any defense boosts on the opposing Pokemon. So whether or not the Blastoise is going for a withdraw or a Iron Defense to boost its defense, the Sacred Sword is just going to bypass those, which makes this very viable. So we're going to start off the raid with a Mystical Fire here. That's going to reduce the special attack on the Blastoise by one stage. And then we're going to go for another Mystical Fire this next turn. You're going to take an attack, but because we've got such good special defense with the Gallade, we're going to be able to soak up these attacks pretty easily. So turn two, we lock in with another Mystical Fire. That's just going to keep the Blastoise in check for the next few turns while we go for our setup. Of course, we have got the Shell Bell item on there for a little bit of recovery every time we do attack. And you can see this... Hydro Pump coming out again, it's not going to be doing as much damage. Now the next three turns, we're just going to go for these Sword Stances. So we're going to get our attack stat to plus six. The only time the Blastoise uh, removes those stat boosts to our side of the field is when the timer hits, when the raid timer hits 60%. So we don't have to worry about our stats being reset at this point. We're going to be able to finish the raid way before that happens. So we'll go for a second Sword Stance and one more after this. While we take some attacks and you might get lucky with the rng the hydro pumps don't have the best accuracy all of the time but we'll go for another sword stance here and then we're going to be in a great position to start running through this blastoise so after that third sword stance there we're going to be on plus six attack and now we're going to be in a place where we can go for our first 
sacred sword that's going to take us to the point where we can terrestrialize so i'm going to do a huge amount of damage this first time up because we're not terrestrialized uh, and the shield is up so meaning that the damage output is not as good as it could be so the next turn before we terrestrialize what we're going to do is set up an all-out attack chair so that's the next thing that we're going to do literally from this point on we're going to be able to run through the blastoise very very quickly so we're going to see so that hydro pump come up from the blastoise it'll take a little bit more damage onto us but i mean you can see the damage is not really doing anything that we need to worry about it's next turn easy terrestrialize and then lock in with the sacred sword we're going to get that boost because we are terrestrialized going to do a lot more damage to the shield and because we're using that sacred sword we're ignoring all of the defense boosts that the blastoise has set up to this point in the battle it has got access to iron defense giving it a plus two boost and also the withdraw as well but you can see here from the damage that we're going to be able to do with that all out attack here bonus attach we're going to be in a good position in the red time i know i near that 60 percent mark yet so we've got probably two more sacred swords to go after this blastoise is going to use its general shell smash uh boost up and things like that at this stage uh, we get pretty lucky with a fully powered but there's the shell smash the guaranteed shell smash at this stage boosting its attack and special attack by two stages but we're not in any position where we need to worry about getting knocked out or the blastoise picking up a knockout at this stage at all so we're going to be able to see all of those boosts get up removes the negative effects from its side of the field and then we're going to be in a position where we can go for that next sacred sword we'll have that all-out attack chair still active sacred sword still boosted by that plus six attack and then one more sacred sword after this we're going to be in a great position to just lock this raid up see that kind of token rain dance coming out from the blastoise which is fine but like i say because this is so quick you're gonna you're not even gonna need to worry about resetting your stats this is the final sacred sword literally three sacred swords and we are very close to picking it up just missing out most of the time you're gonna get the knockout at this stage so we are able to go for a final one it nullifies the, the stats and abilities on our side of the field most of the time in this situation you're going to clear the raid before this um, and we just get a bad damage roll there. But most of the time, like I say, you're going to be able to pick up the knockout there with the three sacred swords after you've terrestrialized, break the shield, knock it down a bit more. And then the final one normally picks it up. But even if you're missing the knockout like we did there, you're still doing it very, very quickly. And it's a very consistent way to be able to run through the bass toys, probably easier than the Venusaur, quicker than the Venusaur with this specific build. So I hope it is useful for you if you do decide to use Galid over this weekend. And again, it's a Pokemon that's accessible to everyone in the games. It's in the base games. You don't have any reliance on anything from the DLCs as well for this build. Glade, very easy to get and put together in your games and of course once you've beat the raid if you want to get a new den on your map you just need to come to your home menu then down into system settings then into system and then date and time make sure your synchronized clock for the internet is off just toggle through these options here and then come back into your game and you should see all the dens respawn and you'll be able to locate the seven star terror raid event again and then head over to it and farm for those illustrious Herba Mysticas. So that is everything for today's video, friends. I hope you find this video and the build useful, especially for farming Herba Mysticas, which is something you probably want to try and take advantage of while this event is running. Of course, we, after the Blastoise is finished, we do have the Charizard 7-star raid returning to Scarlet and Violet, and hopefully the Herba Mystica drops continue with that one. But because it's a repeat event, might not have the Herbert Mystica drops, but we'll have to wait and see when that event goes live next week. But I hope you have a lot of fun with this build. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in. If you have enjoyed the video, do drop a like, do subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.